Good morning, wonderful people. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday, almost 11 na. So, andito ako sa kwarto ko ulit. Palagi lang naman ako nandito. Hindi naman ako maglabas ng saan saan. <laughs> And then, so, maglilinis lang naman ako today. Kasi nga, masyadong makalat. I'm done buying my maleta. So, yung ibang damit, nakapasok na doon. Kaya, ito na lang yung lilinisin ko. Tcha! O, oh, ayan. Yung mga buting-ting-buting-ting dito. Tapusin natin. Nililinisan ko na rin yung mga cabinet ko kasi may mga iba nang magmamayari nito pag ako'y aalis na. <laughs> yung ibang gamit ko na rin sa apartment. Kami yung lahat ng gamit ko sa apartment. Nakuha ko na din. And then, syempre, may iba na rin magmamayari. Yung mga ari-arian ko. Kinuha na nila. So, tapusin lang natin to Napapagod na ako sa kalat dito sa kwarto. Gusto ko na malinis. Hindi ko na nga alam kung saan ako matutulog eh. Kaya binababa ko na lang sila. Pag umaga naman, binabalik ko sila sa taas. Kaya tatapusin natin ito today. Okay. So, si mama yung nagluluto ngayon dun. So, let's clean this up, people. the news today I mean just now you know while I was cleaning they deliver no your visa tumawag yung tiga LBC sa akin nasa Panabo City na raw sila they deliver nila anytime today yay akala ko libre yun may babayaran pa lang 400 something but anyway ang importante nandito na yung visa ko talaga makakaalis na ako nito ng Dubai Philippines na <laughs> yun na maglilinis tayo ulit tapos na hey guys, nandito na yung taga LBC nandito just on time, you know. Saktong-sakto lang siya. Alis kasi kami, tapos wala pa naman kasi itong CFO. Kailangan pa itong matatakan. So, alis din naman kami. Pupunta kami Maynila next week. So, natalhin ko to para matatakan ng CFO sticker. And, akala ko talaga malaki ko, guys. Hey, dati tago panood lang ako ng mga vlog na ganito eh. Ngayon ako na yung nakakaranas. <laughs> Natatawa ako. Ay, thank you Lord. <laughs> Hindi pa rin nagsisink in sa akin. Even nung bumiyahe ako papunta Manila para sa para sa medical tsaka interview, lahat ng yun. Para lang wala alam mo, yun yung kalmang-kalma ka. Very peaceful ka. Kahit may ubo ako noon. Yung ganun. Thank you so much for oh, the love and favor, Lord. So, bubuksan natin to. Tingnan natin. But before we open this yellow packet, i-review muna natin yung email na pinadala ng US Embassy sa akin. So, basahin natin. Dear applicant, kindly read the attached instructions carefully and then inspect your passport and visa immediately upon receipt. Some applicants may receive a yellow visa packet. Do not open this envelope which should be hand-carried and turned over to an immigration authority at the U.S. port of entry. 
Do not open or even attempt to open the yellow visa packet. An applicant with a damaged visa packet may not be allowed to in-plane or may encounter difficulties at the U.S. port of entry. Only the plastic pouch may be opened to retrieve the passport. The yellow packet and the passport with the visa will be inspected by an immigrant or public health officer at the U.S. port of entry. Check the information in the visa immediately upon receipt. Return the passport along with the visa packet to any LBC branch or outlet as soon as possible if the visa contains any incorrect data as technical requirements may require considerable time to reissue the visa. Note the validity of the visa. An applicant should be admitted to the U.S. before its expiration date. A fiancé derivative or K2 applicant must apply and be issued a visa, if eligible, within one year from the date that the fiancé was issued. Because of the one-year window, K2 applicants are strongly encouraged to apply for a visa as soon as possible, potentially as early as four months after K1 visa issuance. However, eligible K2 applicants who are turning 21 years old must be issued a visa and be admitted to the U.S. before the 21st birthday. An applicant who does not qualify for K2 issuance will need to become the principal beneficiary of a visa petition filed with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. To request a replacement visa, the passport with the expired visa and the packet must be sent to the U.S. Embassy. It should include a signed letter explaining the reason for inability to use the visa before its expiration and the intended travel date if a replacement visa is approved. An applicant approved for a replacement visa will be required to update expired documents and pay the applicable fees anew. Filipino immigrant or those leaving the country to settle permanently abroad are required by the Philippine government to register and attend the pre-departure orientation seminar organized by the Commission on Filipino Overseas. For scheduling and procedures to follow, visit the CFO website at cfo.gov.ph. The U.S. Embassy does not maintain information on host country government requirements and is unable to answer related questions. So yung iba, takot na takot na buksan ito. Yung instruction lang naman pala, eh, huwag na huwag bubuksan yung yellow packet. I-open natin siya, pero syempre hindi natin masyadong lakihan. Ipilan natin sa gilid, bubuksan. Tapos, ititape natin ulit. Kuha muna tayo ng cutter. So, we're back with the cutter and the tape. So, buksan na natin. Going to open this one. Dito lamang sa gilid. Okay. Yung sakto lang yung sakto. Before natin i-check, i-tape natin para masara. Ayan na! I-check natin. Sabay tayong mag-check. Hingatin natin. Ito na siya. Ay na. Nandito na. May visa na tayo. Ito, bibigyan natin to kung saan yung point of entry. Immigration pa tayo bibigyan. Tama ba yun? Immigration? Oo, parang immigration. So, hindi pa rin nagsisink in. Pero, ito na yun eh. So, I'm thinking, talagang dadalhin ko na lang to sa Manila para doon na lang ako kumuha ng sticker. Hindi na lang sa Davao, na even online. Padalhin ko na lang yung orange book. Yung certificate siya. Thank you. So, by the way, dun sa mga nagtatanong, ito yung sticker na inilalagay dun sa 
uh, US Embassy sa entrance. So, ito. Hindi yung barcode talaga ng phone mo. Hello everybody! Good evening! It's already late in the evening. And, hindi ako nakagawa ng outro kanina. Kasi nakalimutan ko. And then, well, hindi naman talaga ako gumagawa ng outro. <laughs> But for tonight's video, gawa tayo ng outro. Anyway, guys, if your case is already in transit or your case is already ready, I'm going to leave some links in the description box that might help you kung kinakailangan mo ng magpakuha ng appointment for medical guys like or kailangan mo ng kumuha ng appointment for interview or gusto mong mag-walk in sa CFO, ako walk in ako eh. Kailangan mo ng mga link. I'm going to put it sa description box. And then, I hope it might help you. you know? So, wala naman talaga kasing makakaintindi sa sitwasyon natin. Kundi tayo-tayo rin lang. Tayo-tayo rin lang yung nakaka-relate. So, kung tutulungan na lang tayo. Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to click like and share and if you have some questions please feel free to write down your comment sa comment box and if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to click subscribe and sali nyo na rin yung notification bell so you will get notified every time that I'm going to post a new video thank you and that's all for tonight guys thank you so much for watching this video and please take good care god bless and always don't forget that god loves you so much keep safe everybody have a great evening